fact, a foul. No, no, okay, it was a, it was a uh, offside flag. Neither team knew that it was an offside flag. They thought it was a foul going the opposite way. They've got it right now, though. In the midfield now, picked up. Chance here for Cuba going forward. It's intercepted. Moim. Play back for Ambo. Moim picks her head up. Gets it downfield. It's a foot race now into the end line. It's going to be a save here by Arcea. And she came well off her line to knock the ball out of play. Good read by the Cuban goalkeeper. It's ball into the box again. Now Seya is going to knock this one into her hands and boot it downfield. It's a down, knocked back from Moyo to Ambos. Flicked on header. Knocked down by Joseph. Battling through the midfield. Advantage played at least for the moment. Sancia. Back with Miguel Sancia. A little interplay here, and can they keep it in play? She does, does Ornice. Ornis to the end line, crosses into the box, looking back post, it's a flick on, it's punched away. Excellent save by Erica Arcea. Wide open on the back post, as I believe it was Pierre and Joseph. I'm not sure who got the end touch on it. Excellent run down the line by Ornis. Crossed into the box, just couldn't get a clean enough flick on it. And it was actually with Milda. I'll see it with Milda, who had the last chance on it. Instead, it'll be a corner coming for Haiti now. The lofted ball into the box. Player goes down, the header is up, and it's another excellent save. Erika Arcea, que buena. May have been an even better save than the first one. An absolute missile of a header by the captain, Esterico Joseph. And a palm away save by Erika Arcea. Not going the opposite way as Joseph is fouled. Esterico Joseph now down in some pain. Another look, just a bit of a tangled mess with her and Echevarria. And we will continue on. At this point, Haiti could be 2 0 up, but Erika Arcea holding firm in goal for Cuba. Intercepted by. Maria Blanco, and knocked off of Blanco, so a throw coming the opposite way back for Haiti again. Switch the opposite side, Sancia picks her head up. Looks for the same ball going down the line for Ornis, but this time it goes too far. And Chinea sees the ball out of play. Restarted very quickly from the Cuban back line. Herrera. Out wide now for Blanco. Battling now is Espinosa. Espinosa dragging defenders with her and earns herself a free kick. Elizabeth Espinosa. Place for FC Holguin. Yeah. 
Goes right back out of play from Cuba. Back into the back line of Haiti now. A little bit of a miscued pass. Intercepted now by Sterikov Joseph. Captain just stepping into that one. Now out wide for Ornice. Tries to play it through. It's an awkward one. It's still live. Here's a chance now into the box. And knocked away, just about all red players in the area. I believe that was Florcy Joseph on the wide angle with that cross into the box. And eventually ends up being a handball, so Alsea playing it back in. Palma heads it down, bit of a back heel flick by Bahamond. And it's out of play. Here's Joseph. Out wide. We have a foul throw. I'm not sure what just happened, but it's going to be a Cuba throw at the very least. And further back, in fact. Flicked on by Blanco. And that's going to be a high boot. So right back the other way it goes. It's going to be left for rolls on view. Switched here for with Milda. Sons her head back up, plays it back to her captain Joseph. Switched out wide now. Trying to go for it is Joseph. The other Joseph, shall I say, Florcy Joseph. This one gonna be intercepted by Moy. And all the way back. Ambois. There you go, Joseph. Sancier, intercepted. Bahamond is going to give away the throw right back for Haiti. Sancier plays it forward now here for Ornis. There you go, Joseph, looking for the long ball. Popped up in the air. Ground it goes. Now into the midfield. Get a little move past her defender. Down the line it goes. Trying to find Joseph. This one's going to roll out to the end line and it will be a goal kick. After those first couple minutes with Haiti putting on the pressure and two big saves from Arcea. Nothing really has come from either end in terms of attack over the last about five or six minutes or so. Reception here from Cuba as they push the issue. Palma looking out wide. Be played safely out of play by Rosenville. Good run by Elizabeth Espinosa. Looks like they may have flagged for offside on that play, in fact. So maybe not as good of a run as originally thought. Just a few steps in front of the back line. Taken here by Dorsey. Dorsey plays it through. It's intercepted again. Espinosa picks her head up. Intercepted by Joseph. They threw it in the midfield now. Here's an opportunity for Rith Milda, and it's taken right back the other way. And lost back by Espinosa. Now here again is Ornis trying to play it through, and just a miscued of passes the last couple. And this time, a bit of frustration from Mirlene Dorsey. 
And it's going to be a foul on Haiti. Right on that midfield line. Booted downfield by Cuba. Good little touch here, Echevarria. A bad effort as Amboas is underneath it, but a very deft flick to herself by Indira Echevarria. Back the other way from Haiti. Good bit of interplay here from the Haitians. Switch of field to the opposite end. Taken down now by Ornice, and it's intercepted. And that's going to be a foul on Haiti again. This time taken by Via Vincenzo. Popped up in the air. Espinosa trying to win it back, and it's won in the end by Haiti in the midfield. It's taken away now, and now counterattack opportunity here for the Haitians. Pushing forward. Good hold up play here from Floris Joseph. Stuck under her foot, the shot from distance is going to be right into the hand of Arcea. Diana Pierre with that effort from distance just a moment ago. Sancia heads down. And back. You're battling now with Bahamond. And it'll be a Cuba throw coming up. Thrown in now by Palma. Knocked away by Haiti. Taken down by Espinosa. Blanco now switches field into the top of the 18. Taken down. And that's a miscue of a shot by Via Vincenzo. Excuse me, that was Bahamon with the shot. With Milba now. Looking long, headed up and out of there by Herrera. Pointing. Down the line it goes. Here's an opportunity for Ornice again. Trying to get the cross into the box. It's behind and knocked away by Cuba. V. Vincenzo now. Wants to get it downfield and it's right back to the back line of Haiti. And again, Ornice finding acres of space. Just cannot get that good cross in and it's right into the hands of Asea. He's had a lot of good opportunities with Ornis down the right-hand side of the field. Have not been able to capitalize with any goals on the board. Sancia. Throw this ball in. Taken down, one back by Sancia and blasted into the face of Palma. That one's got to hurt. Malicious inside it. It's a very painful soccer play. Look on header, knocked away by Herrera. Back into possession of Haiti, flicked up in the air by Marcellus. Aside to Marcellus. Deft footwork there, especially from Blanco now. Tried to get a passer defender and it ends up going out of play. Back with possession now. He steps forward, looking for the long ball. Chested down now by Marcellus. Ended up falling down in the process, and now it's back for Cuba. Played forward, and Salsir boots it away for the moment. Blanco. 
Down the line here for Espinosa. Espinosa still into the box. And a nice little back heel flick from Moyu. One back here by Blanco. Blanco centers it off into the midfield. Shot from distance, not much from Bahamond. And instead, comes back to Amboss. Starts a bit of possession now. It's Cuba forced to retreat. Here's Ornice again. Ornis is open again. Instead they go center. End up finding Ornice. She shoots and it's just carried away, I think. That was going out, but hard to tell from that angle. And Erica Arcea has stepped in and made another wonderful save. The fact that she got the, to that ball in the first place is kind of spectacular in and of itself. Again, every time Valentina Ornis has found some space, every attack that he has had has basically come from her. Just flicked away by Asaya again. Here's Pierre into the box, looking back post, punched up in the air, and we'll do it again on the other side. This one looking good, just over the head of Esterico of Joseph, who's arguably one of the tallest players on the pitch. But it was too tall even for her. Good ball in by Ornis as well. Oh, no, that's intercepted. Esterico of Joseph playing it through. Battling through is Pierre, chipped up in the air, headed away, taken down now by Espinosa. He centers it off to the opposite side. V. Vincencio goes through two different Haiti defenders. Unzip coming now. Or Nice taken away. Now back in possession. Good challenge there by Saria. Stepping through now, Sancir. Down the line it goes, trying to get it in for Ornis. On back by Ornis. Sancir has moved her way up. The tangle in the midfield. Cuba has a free kick. 21 minutes, now 22 minutes into the match. Nil nil our score. Could have been 2 nil to Haiti, but Erica Arcea has had some very big saves very early on in the match. Cuba still looking for their first real good chance of the match. They've had some good half chances, but nothing concrete. Big switch the opposite side is looking for Nice again. This one chipped up. Sancir gets a splice of the ball. Ends up staying with Haiti, however. Here's Ornis again. Plays the early ball, top of the 18. The shot is going to be parried away again. Erica Arcea is on fire. An excellent chance from Diana Pierre, but it just had enough loft to it for Erica Arcea to get to it. Early ball, excellent one from Ornis, just from the top of the 18. And Arcea could read it every step of the way. Just shuffling her way over and making a good parry save. Meanwhile, danger is still going here. Is Cuba able to clear their lines? And clear their lines well, in fact. Here's an opportunity for Echevarria. Just gets held up a little bit. Plays a little one-two, trying to run it down. It's going to be an awkward ball here. It's, it forces Amboas out of her goal. And now an opportunity as Amboas couldn't clear the ball. Now it's a foul by Amboise as she's well out of goal, and it's going to be a yellow card for the Haitian goalkeeper and a free kick coming for Cuba. Could have been disastrous for Haiti as Amboise is completely out of goal. And credit to Indira Estrevaria, who almost was able to turn and score. It was a necessary foul by Amboise, however. And she was well off her line with no one in goal.
take another look at exactly what happened. Amboise was trying to clear the ball downfield. It was intercepted for the moment by Bahamond. Then Echevarria took it, and she was just tripped up necessarily by Amboise, or else it would have been an open goal for Cuba. And instead, it'll be a free kick coming here for the Cubans. into the box via Vincenzo is off the crossbar. Thought it may have gone over top and I think Amboise did as well. Oh, Haiti going the opposite way. Out wide now, here is Ornice. Another cross into the box, it's floated up in the air and this one grabbed by Asaya. Back downfield by Asaya again. Back to that opportunity from Cuba a moment ago off the free kick. It just dipped a little bit quicker than I think anybody expected. You take another look at that. Via Vincenzo. A good ball just off the bottom of the crossbar. Popped up in the air and out of play. Cuba making their way forward again. away from any danger for the moment. Come, could be an opportunity here for Haiti. Down the line it goes. Pushing forward is Flores, Floresy Joseph. Joseph shoots from distance. That one's going to just go out of play. It gave a bit of a scare to Arcea, who made a move towards the ball and then pulled up at the last moment. And she saw it going out of play. Accepted here. Haiti from distance again, just going out wide. A lot of shots from distance from Haiti over the last couple minutes. Out wide, that one's just too far. Unfortunate from Chinea. Oh, Haiti back with the ball again. Taking steps forward. As Pierre is taken down from behind, it'll be a free kick coming for Haiti now. And a very good scoring opportunity. Just coming from behind is Via Vincenzo, right there, stepping on the foot. That's a free kick for Haiti coming up. Elisa! So you can hear Erica Arcea setting up her wall in front of her. You've got Castillo Bahamond. Via Vincenzo and Espinosa in the wall. They need to protect themselves. Diana Pierre will be the one to take the free kick. Does she go for goal or does she try and loft one into the back post? We'll find out here in just a moment. Here we go. Pierre plays it to the top of the 18. Knocked away. Still loose. Shot from distance again saved. Erica Asea. That's 
it's got to be her fifth or sixth save of the evening. And we haven't even gotten into the half hour mark. Excellent goalkeeping from the Cuban keeper. Sear plays it downfield again. All the way to the Cuban back line. And to midfield, turn back over again. Out wide here for Blanco. Blanco finds the overlapping run of Espinosa. Espinosa has to play it back, switch into the middle of the field and turned over. Lady look to counterattack the opposite way. With Marcellus driving forward. Still with the possession is Marcellus. Lays it off now here for Pierre. Tries it from distance, blocked out wide. Here's an opportunity for Nice. She's into the box and finds the back of the net. Valentina Onis has found the first goal of the evening. And the excellent work of Erica Arce is broken. As just in the 30 minute mark, Cuba concedes. As you see a lot of Haiti fans here celebrating. Take another look. Started off with Pierre trying to shot from distance. All defenders converged on her, which left Valentina Ornis wide open. And she tucked it into the near post. Excellent finish from Ornis, who's been the player on the offensive side of things for Haiti. Although most of her chances have come from crosses or from overlapping runs. She's really been the one to initiate a lot of the offense here tonight. And then she gets her goal. With Haiti now with the 1-0 lead, they are in a tie for the top of Group H. Any more goals, and they will be the leaders. Can they add a second? Stepping behind is Marcellus. Holding up play. Good little turn from Marcellus. She's into the box. Goes down a little bit late, but it will be a corner coming for Haiti. Well, it's not a corner, it's a throw. Since the 18, taken down. Cuba will go the opposite way. Well, only for the moment. Let's turn back over. Here's Dorsey now. Sancerre. Finds Ornis. Good bit of 1-2 combination play. Top of the 18 now. Shot from distance. Just goes over top. Not a bad effort from Florcy Joseph. Off the half volley. Take another look, Sancerre is popping it up into the air for Joseph. She actually popped it up herself. Good interplay between Sancerre and Joseph, however. Pressure coming from the front line of Haiti now. As that will not force a turnover. And in fact, will at the end of it because it took a deflection off of Bahamon. Well, according to the referee, it did not, so it's a back a Cuba throw. That one headed up and out of play by Joseph. Going in, popped up in the air by Ornice. Challenge between three different players, and Cuba comes away with it now with Pelma. Trying to find someone at the top of the 18, it's just knocked away. Down the line it goes, trying to find Ornice again, unable to do so. Excellent 
decent skill here from Cuba. Driving through is Castillo, has it taken away for the moment. Still possession with the Cubans, however. And that's just a miscue right there as Espinosa was trying to find Blanco. Ball was just too far behind. Joseph, Sancir. Steps into a long ball. Taken down nicely. Here is Joseph. Overlapping run here for Nice. Cross is blocked and out of play. Chinea got to that ball last. Sancir. Ornis, just a little toe poke, gets away from the defender. And Ornis claiming a foul and kind of just gave up on the ball. Taken down now, an opportunity for Haiti, claiming for handball with Pierre. Nothing given. A little skill there by Palma, it's taken away. Ornis back with it. Dorsey. Played through and intercepted all the way back to the back line now of Haiti as it's cleared their lines for Cuba a bit. Ball thrown in, popped up in the air, right back out of play again. Right off the foot of Shirley Palma. It's again Haiti leading 1 0 in the 30th minute, thanks to a goal from Valentina Ornis. Just a few minutes ago, that broke the deadlock. Erica Arcea. A number of wonderful saves for Cuba, but could not keep that one out. The old saying goes, goals change games. You see a little bit more of Haitian ascendancy here in the attack. Onto the box, great little ball. Here's a shot right into the hands of Arcea. And up here, again, good contact on the volley. Underneath it was Blanco, couldn't keep it. Blanco pays it now for Espinosa. It's intercepted. Back for Dorsey. Out wide now for Ornis. Centered. Still with it, and it's an excellent tackle by Espinosa. Player is still down behind from Haiti. And it's intercepted again with Mila. And this time the play will stop. As Marilyn Dorsey is writhing around in pain at the top of her own 18-yard box. Looks like she may have rolled her ankle on that one. Trainers will come out to take a look at her. In the meantime, players will get a chance to hydrate a little bit more as we approach halftime. After 10 minutes to go before we Head to the locker rooms. Sure Cuba would like to have a chance to equalize. Send this game into halftime with a different outlook on things right now. Let's try and score a goal. Take another look at how that happened. Just a, a crunching tackle, but a clean one nonetheless by Elizabeth Espinosa.
And well, Dorsey has to come out of the game and wait for the referee's whistle to come back in. We will have a drop ball since the play was stopped in the middle of the game. And the ball has been dropped and we're back underway. Looked away now, an opportunity for Haiti. Not really numbers forward, but that doesn't matter because you can take a shot from distance. Pierre once again trying one from just outside the 18 yard box. This time, pulled it well wide. Into the middle of the field, it's taken away here by Orlis. Back still with possession of Haiti. Ornice, who's found herself on the other side. Cuts past one, two, three. Overlapping run now. There's no overlap for Ornice this time because she's on the left instead of the right. So there's no outlet out wide and ball is cleared away. Back into the midfield again. Sear plays it back. And Borsa. Someone finds where Nice cleared downfield again by Palma. Offside flag goes up. And that play will be dead. Field it goes, popped up in the air. Now back again with Ornis. Overlapping run of Sancir. Has to play it down the line. Didn't get to her player, but it ended up with a favorable result for Haiti. The quick throw in is into a dangerous area. Now back for Sancir, who's taken down. Nothing given. Oh, now there has been. Spoke too soon, in fact. So dangerous free kick opportunity here for Haiti. Merlene Dorsey. We'll put things into the box to see if any of her teammates can get on the end of it and double their lead before half. Dorsey into the area, top of the 18. Pierre plays it back. Switching around. Trying to find Dorsey again. Knocked right back out of play. Clear downfield. Deflected clearance, and it's going to be right back for Haiti. Shot from distance, just over top and in. Haiti from distance, spectacular. And just before halftime, they have doubled the lead. They've been trying it all night. Any shot from distance to try and catch Erica Asea off her line just enough. And that one, in fact, did. What an absolute bomb from distance from Rose Isla Marcellus. And that gives Haiti a commanding 2 nothing lead right before the halftime whistle. Well, some say that 2 nothing is the most dangerous score in soccer. Especially heading into a halftime 
leading by two. Sometimes you take your foot off the gas pedal. Sometimes you let teams back into the game. Anything can happen. Others say you go up two and sometimes it breaks other teams' spirits. We will see how Cuba is able to respond if they don't do it in this half in the next 45 minutes. Or can Haiti add a third? Had numbers going forward. Dorsey didn't look to her right and instead just looked to the left. Couldn't find any players going forward, so that attack was broken up. But back again here for Haiti. Ornice. Cutting it back. It's going to be one back by her opposite number, Bahamond. Down the line it goes. Echevarria holding up play. Could not keep it in play. And so with that, it'll be a throw coming for Haiti with about 30 seconds left to go in this half. Plus probably about a minute or two of stoppage time. We will see from the fourth official in about 15 seconds how much stoppage time, if any, there will be. All thrown in, popped up in the air. All the way back to Ambos, who boots it downfield. A bit tangled under her feet is Marcellus. Comes away with it. It'll be one minute of stoppage time, according to the fourth official. But not too much time in between. Taken down now by Pierre. Playing it back through the middle of the defense. 30 seconds to go in this first half. Last chance here for Haiti. So nice fakes the cross. Plays it back to Saint-Cyr. Crosses into the box. No one there to meet it. Back to the top of the 18 for Haiti again. Has to play it through, and the deflection could have taken, I believe it was Pierre in on goal if she had kept her run going. And that will do it for the first half. Haiti currently atop Group H with a 2-0 lead over Cuba. Excellent first half from Haiti as they were able to score in the last 15 minutes twice. And now head into the locker room with a 2-0 lead. We'll see how everything turns out when the second half resumes in about 15 minutes. El 
ley y el mutuo respeto son fundamentales en el fútbol. La conducta discriminatoria no está permitida. Les pedimos que respeten los principios de fair play y que tomen parte en el fútbol con más virtudidad. Respeto a igualdad. Digan no a la discriminación. Respeto a igualdad. Digan no a la discriminación. First half between Haiti and Cuba. Very exciting one. First 30 minutes could have been anybody's game as both teams came close to scoring. It was Haiti at the very beginning through Valentina Ornice, cross into the back post and an excellent save by Erica Arcea. She had her work cut out for her at the very beginning of the match and she had another excellent save. Just tipping the ball over the bar. First 30 minutes for her was very good. A yellow card to Naomi Ambros. And she came well out of her box to commit the foul. This one ended up being very close to going in, just off the bottom of the crossbar by Via Vin Vincencio. And then from there on, Haiti had some great opportunities off a free kick here as Diana Pierce was fouled. Turned into this opportunity right at the top of the 18. And a good parry away once again by Erica Arcea. And then followed it up with another excellent save. With her fifth or sixth save of the evening, it certainly looked like it would be her night. But in the 30th minute, Things would change right here after a deflected pass from Dinah Pierre. A shot from Valentina Ornis finds the inside of the post and breaks the deadlock. Katie would take the lead 1-0 and not look back from there. They would double their lead later on in the first half. Let's take another look at that finish just beating Asea on the near post. And a celebration from the Haiti team. Another good opportunity here from distance, just over top. Haiti would try a number of shots from just outside the 18. Is that one from Florcy Joseph just coming undone? And this deflected shot, an absolute bomb from distance. Rose Ayala Marcellus beating over top Arcea just underneath the crossbar. And that would give a 2-0 lead to the Haitian side just before the halftime whistle. And both teams head into the locker rooms with Haiti leading two to nothing. And with Cuba, a lot of work to do offensively. Take a look at some of the stats here, nine to one in favor of Haiti in shots, two shots on goal, two goals. Nine fouls between the two sides and possession, very much in favor of Haiti. 
Well, with that, we'll take a few minutes uh, left, and we'll come back with the second half between Haiti and Cuba in about seven minutes or so.
And welcome back here for the second half of Haiti and Cuba here in the Women's Under-20 CONCACAF Championship. Once again, my name is Austin David here from the Estadio Paramericano de San Cristobal here in the Dominican Republic. And we have another 45 minutes of action here this evening in Group H. Just a reminder, uh, in terms of the group standings, right now Haiti leads the group officially with their two-goal lead. If anything changes, then it is possible they will share the group lead with Guatemala. Uh, Cuba will be making some substitutions here as Ninel Ortega will come in in just a moment. We will wait for those substitutions. As Maria Blanco will come out. And we are underway here for the second half. 45 minutes left to go as Cuba chasing a 2-0 disadvantage. And immediately getting stuck in is Via Vincencio. Field now we go. Pierre is pulling back now all the way for Rosenville. For you, back to Rosenville. It's popped up in the air. Sancier trying to clear the ball. Echevarria took a kick, but I believe she was offside. Ball's rolled out. It's Derek of Joseph. Why not for Rosenville? Of pressure coming from the Cubans in the midfield. So they boot downfield and one back by Cuba in the midfield now. Trying to run forward is one of the substitutes, uh, Dahlia Ledesma, who's come on. Taken down, Bahamond, trying to run down the end line. That one will go off right at the corner flag for a throw going the opposite way. Field, trying to win back his Spinoza. She eventually does so. so Ortega getting it for Espinosa. Chips it forward and knocked away for the moment. Rosenville goes into a heavy challenge and Espinosa is going to get a card. Heavy challenge from Elizabeth Espinosa. Be the second card of the match. Naomi Ambos, the only other card. We will continue on. Girls on view. Good interplay here in the midfield. Knocked up in the air. Back to Rosenville. It's just out of play. So 
going back to the opposite side. Driving forward now is Ornis. I believe it took him off last of, off of Ornis. Excellent job by the substitute Ledesma. Not given back again though. Here is Pierre out wide. An opportunity now for Marcellus again. And she tries the same thing, just a little bit closer in. She scored from about 40 yards out in the first half. Tries to chip it here in the second half. This one does not go to plan. Let's take another look. Acres of space. Just got underneath that one a bit too much. Back in for Cuba. Espinosa played through, intercepted. Now back out wide. Fahamon. A chance here coming. Shot from distance is going to go wide. Diana Pierre trying probably about her fourth shot from 30 to 40 yards away. The Haiti attack obviously feels that they can score from just about anywhere on the pitch, and they will try it. Knocked down by saint -Cyr. Tries to play it through and knocked up in the air. Chance for Cuba as Echevarria was trying to get through and got stonewalled and is now still down. Calling for the trainers. Nothing malicious in the challenge that knocked her down. But still in quite a bit of pain is Echevarria. Take another look. Didn't really see too much in that play. Muriel may have gotten her on the knee, but she is still in an incredible amount of pain. They're trying to get her off the field. Good sight if you're in of Cuba. Hopefully Echevarria is able to continue, but it does not look good. We'll see if Cuba prepares a substitution to come in immediately or if they try and help her out to get back in the game. In fact, they will just go ahead and straight up substitute her now as uh, Enachi Montalvo, Montalvo excuse me, has come in for Echevarria, so that injury will not allow her to continue. Unfortunate for Cuba, but we continue on. Montalvo switches in, 19-4-18. Swing it around. Ball is intercepted. Taken down by Montalvo. Out wide. Driving in through the teeth of the defense, and it'll be a free kick coming for Cuba. So here we go with the Cuban free kick. 
Knocked down immediately, and now a counterattack opportunity for Haiti if they can spring it. And so they just clear it well downfield and allow their players to push forward. Now it's intercepted by Haiti again, popped up in the air. Knocked down, well taken down by Dorsey. Hit through, chested down. Tipped up in the air, it's into the box now. It's still loose. Cleared away, but not too far. Goalkeeper's off her line. If they can get a shot away, it's centered now instead. Here comes the shot and blocked again. Now it's with Ornis, who cannot get a shot away, and it's going to end up being a corner for Haiti. Right, the last couple moments for the Haitians. They almost had a 3 0 lead. Multiple chances in and around the area. It will be the cross from Pierre and Haiti to come in. Good looking ball back post, punched up in the air, still loose. It's taken down top of the area now, blocked. Coming away with it again is Haiti, however. Top of the 18 again, now here's Pierre. Out wide, chance for Marcellus. Marcellus pulls it back. Tries to get it top of the 18 again, lets it run. It's with Milda gets it to Sancerre. She lofts one up into the box. Header down, it's gonna be Marcellus. Takes a deflection and is out of play for a corner. No, it says his goal kick, in fact. Interesting, and now Marcellus is gone, grabbing her knee after that play. Not a good sign as she's able to get back up on her feet. From the looks of it, it looked like her shot was deflected, but according to the referee, it was not. I have to take another look back at that one. And in fact, we will get another look right now. Yeah, that took a deflection. Very easily took a deflection. Should have been a corner for Haiti. Well, we play on. Ball over top here as Haiti have a chance now. Just getting underneath it now. A shot from distance is not going to challenge Ambrose in goal. And now we have another injury for Cuba as Bahamond is pulled up and grabbing her knee as well. Injury after injury for this Cuban team. Looks like it may be a cramp. They're just trying to stretch her out. Still back-to-back -back players go down with injuries. Never a good sign to see. She is back up. Looks like it may have just been a cramp. It's an awkward time to do it. Yeah, she seems to be all right, just stretching herself out a little bit. Get a little bit more hydration in her. And in fact, she'll be substituted. So they won't take any chances. Celia Hernandez is going to come in for her. So Baja Mon's night is done. It looked like she was ready to come back in and continue, but the coaching staff said, nope. You're not just done. So back-to-back -back injury substitutions for Cuba. And now Haiti have a chance to add a third on the counterattack. Cross into the box. It's loose still. Cut back now, cleared away by Espinosa. Still back with Haiti's possession, however. Shipped through. Here's Sancir. He's got Ornis overlapping. Cross into the box from Ornis, headed down. 
And eventually cleared downfield. But only to Haitian players. Dorsey, getting it back to the back line. Loads up the ball long, headed away by Chinea. Popped up by Via Vincencio. Vincencio, excuse me. And it's going to be a handball on Sancir. Back to Haiti. And all the way through the back line. Palma plays it back. Arcta. Not got a play. Here Garcia. Able to keep the ball in possession of her team. Pushing forward is Ornis now. throw for Haiti in their own attacking third. Chested down here by Joseph. Played now for Dorsey. Got players overlapping. He's going to let it run now for Rosanville. Ball into the box, and it's an awkward one, but it is cleared away for another Haiti throw. That one's given right back away. Marcellus had it knocked off her foot. Marcellus gets it right back. It's now here for Pierre. Joseph out wide for her niece. Shot from distance goes well over top. Started quickly and I'm not sure if the Cuba back line was ready for it. We continue on. That's it down the midfield. Down players. Cuba's got some numbers going forward. Here's an opportunity now as Hernandez, who's just come into the game, getting her first touches on the ball. And immediately turns it back over. Switching field to the opposite side. Now on the run is Ornis. Now players in front of her. Sliding challenge is missed, but Ortega able to get it back for Cuba. And a foul and a yellow card is going to be shown for Sancir, I believe, for that challenge on Ledesma. Another look, just very heavy challenge. Miss Sancir. Back underway, headed up in the air. Taken down now in the back line for Haiti. Taken back by Espinosa, trying to thread it through. Comes back for Espinosa, and again trying to thread it through. Every time a pass is going through, it's blocked by a Haiti defender. Good positioning from this Haiti back line, not really allowing anything forward, except for this one here, as it is somehow squirted through. Now top of the 18 again, here for Cuba. And another potential injury as Via Vincencio has gone down. Took a knock as she tried to volley the ball home. And instead is rolling on the ground. She's back up, a little bit of a limp, but seems to be able to continue. Under 30 minutes to go here in this first game between these two sides. 
first day of the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship here from the beautiful Dominican Republic in San Cristobal. Again, the other game between the two sides is Jamaica and Guatemala. And Jamaica will play Cuba in the next game where Guatemala will play Haiti, which will be an interesting one because those are the two top teams in the group right now. So if Jamaica or Cuba win, and either Guatemala or, or Haiti win, could have a three-way or two-way tie for first place, or second place, excuse me. A lot of potential in this tournament. So as I mentioned, we have the game currently going on at Estadio Paramericano. We have a, another cramp going on. Other games are going on currently. As we have uh, Mexico and Panama going on at Estadio Olimpico Fidex Sanchez, which is right in the heart of Santo Domingo. Ball popped up in the air. It will be a free kick going the opposite way. Down the line it goes here for Cuba is Saria. Trying to follow through, can't. And now it's an opportunity for Haiti. Driving through the defense is Florcy Joseph into the 18, and she slips and falls and can't get her cross in. That is unfortunate, as it's going to be a goal kick coming for Cuba. Well, we'll have a substitution. Is with Mila is coming out. Is Marlene Gouvier will come in. As will Gael Dumas. Taking another look at that chance from Florcy Joseph. Right there, got her right foot in front of her left. Lift on the cross. We'll call it a cross. Wasn't sure if she was going for goal or a cross. So Gouillier and Dumas both into the game for Haiti. On the far side now with Cuba. One back now by Pierre. And lost by Pierre. Back downfield now out of play. Cuba will look to go quickly and Bit of friendly fire there as the ball was knocked away from Palma. Ball thrown in. It's knocked through. That's a turn and another called foul. Well, I'm, I'm not 100% sure if that was a foul or just a fall by Ledesma. Either way, it's going to be a yellow card for Diana Pierre. I don't think Pierre agrees with the call either. Take another look. Oh, no, there was a bit of contact, in fact. Arm to the stomach. Yeah, that's a yellow card. Well caught by our head referee, uh, Francia Gonzalez. So third yellow card of this evening. Second for Haiti. Off from Palma, top of the 18, into the 18 now. It's still loose, can't get a shot away. 
The referee was right there and she'll give the penalty. A lifeline for Cuba as just inside the 18 yard box, a foul was committed. Now VAR is in play here potentially to double check the referee's decision, but the entire Haitian team is crowding the referee questioning the decision. The decision seems to stand. And now Yerli Palma will have an opportunity to get Cuba on the board here in the 70th minute. By the time she kicks it, it will be 71st. Or can Naomi Ambos come up big for her team and contain the shutout? We've already had a penalty stopped earlier today. With Jamaica and Guatemala. Can we see another one on this same goal here just a couple hours later? It will be Palma against Ambos, who will come out on top. Shot is in! Yearly Palma has Cuba on the board with 20 minutes to go. We've got a game, folks. 2-1. I said it before, I'll say it again. Goals change games. And now the game will flip on its head with that excellently buried penalty by Yearly Palma. Kept it simple and well, Cuba is on the board, which means the goal differential has shifted a bit so that Haiti and Guatemala both have a one goal differential, which means I believe they are tied for first, but I think Haiti is still ahead based on goals scored. We're in for an interesting 20 minutes. I'll meet up in the air. Excellent challenge, winning the ball back for Cuba. Player is down. Pushing forward now, a little bit more urgency from Haiti as Pierre loses the ball. And it's another foul. We've got two hate Cuba players down on the ground. Now Saria is down on the near side. We have another player on the far side who was down, but she seems to be okay. Another cramp for Cuba, it looks like. Rather than just treat her, <laughs> their trainer just picked her up and took her off the field so they could continue the game and try and get back into it. Question is, will they sub her out just to get someone back on the field, or will they continue with just 10? I don't think I've seen that in quite a while, where their trainer just picks the player up and carries her off the pitch with one hand. But hey, folks, welcome to CONCACAF. Drop ball here from the referee as Cuba will put things back into play. Driving forward, shot from distance. It's going to bounce and fall right to Ambrose. He will boot it downfield. Intercepted by Cuba again. Played downfield. Out wide, here we go. Florcy Joseph cutting back inside. Tries to get it to the top of the 18, it's cleared away. Now underneath it is Hernandez. She'll get it out wide. And on the run is Montalvo, Montalvo, excuse me. Now some pressure coming from Cuba. KD able to get away with it for now. Joseph, down the line it goes again. This time finding the run of Guerrier. Guerrier trying to get past her defender. Excellent job defensively by Chinea. But it will be a 
go kick. It looked like Chinea had the last touch off of it, but instead it was not. And we'll have to have Saria come off. And in steps Leonette Franco. To get another injury substitution for Cuba. That is at least their fourth injury-related substitution. They have used five total substitutions to this point. Immediately getting into it is Franco, trying to get it forward. All the way back to the back line for Amboas. Bit of pressure coming as Amboas trying to force it down the other length of the field. Back into the back line, now it goes to the captain, Joseph. And out of play it goes. Back for a Cuba throw. They've looked energized since that penalty. Through good little switch of play now as Ledesma tries to cross it in. It's knocked out. And another throw coming for Cuba. Knocked out of play off ahead, and it's going to be a corner coming for the Cubans. shall see with 15 minutes to go. Can Cuba equalize off this corner? It's a loose ball in the box. Popped up in the air. Driving forward. Hold up plays. Keeping it now for Haiti. Pierre taken down from behind. What's going on here? Pierre had gone down. I'm not sure what has just happened. We've got an injured player behind the scenes. team is out there and they've got the magic spray out. We should fix them right up. Good opportunity for some talking tactics for both sides. As it was Florcy Joseph who was down and behind the play. Ball is back into play. Shot from distance. Asaya able to grab it and start things going the opposite way. At least only for the moment. Ball pings around a couple times. Back with possession for Cuba. One back by Sancir. Driving forward now. Taken away. Dorsey now. Back again with Dorsey. All the way out wide and out of play. Throw coming now for Franco. Hey, downfield, good little shielding from Moyu. All the way back into the back line now, Ambos. Playing it through, one back by Cuba. It's that penalty, they have looks very, very dangerous in some attacks here. He's still holding on. Oh. 
driving through. A bit of battling between both sides, and they'll give a free kick coming for Cuba. The fight from the Cubans over this second half has been one to really admire as they have brought themselves back into this game by sheer force of will. And now a free kick is coming up here for Cuba. Ball is into the box. It's a dangerous one. Cleared away. And now the team's going the opposite way. Looking for the long ball switching. It didn't get in far enough. Now an opportunity on the run going the opposite way for Cuba. Good little cut back from Rosenville. Switching to the opposite side and again intercepted by Cuba. Not only for the moment is Pierre, who's all over the place throughout this second half, comes in to stab it away. Trying to be centered off by Ornis, instead knocked out of play. A throw coming for Haiti with 10 minutes to go in this second half. Trainers are being called out once again as another player is down behind the scenes. And it may be the same player as before if it's Floor C. Joseph on the ground. And it is. I think it might be better off if they sub Floor C. Joseph now. I believe the trainer is calling for a substitution. So we will see who Fiorda. Charles goes with here from his bench. We really only have three <laughs> field players available. There is France, Jenny Flora, and Fabiola saint Fleur. We will see who ends up coming in in just a moment. Free kick going the opposite way. Top of the 18 now here for Haiti. Opportunity just booted away. Now Cuba looking to go the opposite way in a hurry. Too much of a hurry, in fact. It somehow works out almost. I'm going to play it through for Montalvo and just intercepted at the last. Goes out of play. Throw coming for Cuba. Here's Franco. Pega has it knocked out of play for a throw. <laughs> Taken down now, here's Dorsey playing it up forward. Dorsey with the overlap. Dumas. Played back, Dorsey now. Sancir, and play it through, and it's right back to Asaya in goal. Quickly distributed. Ball takes a heavy bounce over top, and cleared downfield once again by Moriu. Now it's taken down by Ornis. She's got some space to work with. Goes for the early cross into the box, and it's snagged by Asaya. Saya boots it downfield again. Heavy boot. Trying to catch the defense out a little bit. But Haiti able to clear their lines for this one. Some pressure coming forward. Haiti able to manage. Some 
Quick passing here as they're opening up the defense a little bit more. Looking to move a bit quicker. If they can score a, another goal, they could seal this game away. In the meantime, Cuba looking to tie things up and make things interesting over the last couple minutes. Five minutes plus stoppage time to go in this one. Haiti holding on to a 2-1 lead. Both goals for Haiti coming in the first half. A penalty for Cuba here in the 71st minute. Got them back into the game. And they've been looking dangerous since with some of their counterattacks. Shot from distance is not going to challenge anybody, and Asaya is going to grab it and try and distribute quickly. Another ball, but this one not accurate enough as it's booted well out of play. Jenny Flor Desmarets is going to come into the game now. And she will most likely be replacing Flor C. Joseph. So Joseph out. Desmarets in. Sear plays it down the line. And not kept in play by Ornis. So a throw coming now for Cuba. Again, looking to move quickly. They've only got a few minutes left plus stoppage time. We'll see how much they end up giving. That's not going to help. Right off the foot of Ledesma. So Sear ready to throw it back in. Seeds a throw. Looks like it took a deflection, though. So a throw coming for Haiti once again. Ornice touches it down, popped up in the air, and right back out of play. If you're Haiti, you don't mind. Ball continuously going out of play. You definitely take your time in getting the ball back and not trying to speed up the game as much as Cuba is. Knocked out of play and yet another throw coming for Haiti. It'll take some time in getting the ball back. We are now into the 88th minute. up in the air. No foul called despite the wishes of the Cuban players. Instead of just out of play. It's thrown quickly in. Good overlapping run here from Ornice. Ornice trying to get to the top of the 18. It's a shot and a parry away by Erica Arcea. Keeping her team barely in it. As that was an excellent counterattack by Haiti. Just catching Cuba a little bit too lackadaisical. As the pace of the play before that had kind of lulled them to a bit of all sense of security in the shot. Another shot from Diana Pierre. Here in the 89th minute, Haiti corner. Not too many players in the box for Haiti. That one's headed away by Cuba. That was a bit misjudged by Espinosa. She had enough time to take the ball down and start a counterattack. Instead, just kicks it out of play. That one gets trapped right in the middle of the legs. One back by Cuba, or one back by Haiti, excuse me. Switch back now for Nice on the far side. Numbers going forward, and it's intercepted. And 
Trying to get it out wide, unable to do so. One back now by De Desmaret into the middle. Cutting it back. No foul given. Play on. Cut through. That one's going to be a foul. There's Moyle called for it. 30 seconds left in regulation. We'll see how much time they give in stoppage time. It should be at least a couple minutes. Back into play, and immediately cleared back the opposite way. We're about to see how much stoppage time we will get. Will it be enough for Cuba to do anything? This ball is on side potentially. It's a chance here for Cuba to equalize, and it's off the crossbar. Oh my goodness, right into the 90th minute. It's off the crossbar. Wouldn't have counted anyway, because it was offside. Crazy moments here at the end as 90th minute has struck. Five minutes of stoppage time we will get. Boy, that was interesting. I think she knew she was offside too. Did Montavallo, Montalvo, excuse me. Well, one minute of the five has gone. Again, so by the time the fifth minute has passed, it's up to the discussion of the referee of when to call the game. So she could add another 30 seconds or so. In the meantime, still plenty of time. Another ball over top for Montalvo. Montalvo, excuse me, she takes a shot and it's wide. Montalvo has gotten in some very good scoring opportunities. He's just not put it in the back of the net. Four minutes and change left to go. Does Cuba have one more miracle in them? That one knocked out of play. Again, just slowing the game down as Haiti. No need to rush. Thrown in by Desmaret. Switched field by Moyle. Taken down now by Gouliere. Out wide for Ornice. Ornice with the step over. Towards the end line she goes. Ornice in. That's going to be a corner. Precious seconds ticking away from the hopes for Cuba. to the box, grabbed by Asaya. That ball is knocked down. Out of play, 93rd minute. up into the midfield. It looks like Cuba may be out of gas here. That's going to be blocked. Maybe spoke a bit too soon. Chance coming forward. Just got under the feet of Joseph and knocked away. Now going back the opposite way. Here's Rosanville. Cutting it back. The cheers from the Haitian crowd. Switch to the opposite side, some space for her niece. Top of the box now, shot, saved. Still loose in the 18, and knocked away. Goal kick set to come with just about a minute and a bit left to go. And now we've got a cramp as Chinea is down, needing a bit of stretching. No 
we've got a player from Haiti down on the far side as well, behind goal. Taking another look at this play. An opportunity by Pierre, she switched it out wide. getting treatment on the far side. And now we've got another player in the midfield down. And I believe that is the captain, Asteric of Joseph. So two players for Haiti down. They have put all of their effort into this match. So we've hit the 95th minute. Uh, there will be extra time added on. underway. Cuba still with a little bit of time left to do something. Question is, can they do that something with the time? Stonewall is Elizabeth Espinosa winning the ball back for Cuba and booted downfield. It's underneath the foot of Hiserik of Joseph. Switch to play. Into the back line. Solcier clearing it downfield. Here's Joseph. This may see off the game in this last attack. Looks like Cuba has just about got enough as that falls into the box. Uh, Saya has got it. Oh, now we've got an injury. And that will do it. Final whistle goes and Haiti holds on for a 2-1 win over Cuba. A valiant effort by the Cubans as they scored the penalty in the 71st minute. In order to make this game interesting after going down 2-0 at half, and at the end of the day, Haiti was able to hang on defensively for the 2-1 victory as they now sit tied for points atop Group H. Our next game will be on Wednesday as they will take on Guatemala. Or excuse me, Guatemala will face Cuba where Haiti will face Jamaica. That's six o'clock on Wednesday the second. Valiant effort by the Cubans here tonight. Unfortunately, it was not enough. Still one more game left to go coming on Wednesday. But a valiant effort and a good win for Haiti as they win it 2-1 to one over Cuba. Okay, we are with Megan uh, in this moment. Megan, how important it is to start winning uh, in this type of tournament? I think it's really important to win um, to the start to prove to the other teams that we're here to win. And I think we did a pretty good job showing everyone that we can win the first game. Guatemala is, is the next rival and we will give the qualification to the next round. How to play this match? I think that uh, Jamaica will be a real difficult team to play. But I think that the chemistry between us will um, give the team to the next level. Thank you. Welcome. 
Estamos con Jerry Palma. Jerry, eh, no, no ganaron, pero dejaron una buena impresión contra una, un rival muy fuerte como es Haití. Eh, ¿Qué significa empezar? Pues pierden, pero dejan una muy buena impresión. A pesar de son, que son muchachas muy jóvenes, para esta categoría nos desarrollamos bastante bien. Y... Eh, y no. <risa> yo, yo no sé. Eh, es un... ¿Eh? ¿Qué tan importante es para ustedes eh, competir? El primer partido y hacer un buen juego contra Haití, que es un equipo muy fuerte para, en esta categoría. Bueno, salimos bien y ya a darlo todo y a ganar fue a lo que salimos. El siguiente partido tiene, tiene la posibilidad de pues, sacar una victoria o buscar o tiene que buscar una victoria como para aspirar a la siguiente ronda. Sí. ¿Cómo jugar esto? Igual como estamos ahora de cerrarnos atrás y jugar a los contraataques para poder porque como es un equipo muy joven el, la debilidad es esa muchas gracias <ríe> es que yo no me sé mucho vale, guarde, guarde esto ¿no? One winners for Haiti over Cuba. As both goals for Haiti coming in the first half. Valentina Ornice coming close. Some big saves early on from Erkina Arcea. But unfortunately, in the 30th minute, it would come to a head. Almost a Cuban goal right at the beginning of this half here. Ball just off the top from Via Vincencio. And then a chance here from Ornis, which would find the near post and delight the fans of Haiti that made the trip over to watch the game. That was in the 30th minute. Just beating Asea right on the near post. And the celebrations, very creative ones from Haiti. Almost a second one just over top of the bar. This one was one out of spectacular proportions. Rose Ayala Marcellus from distance over top Asea, beating her just before the halftime whistle. And that one, a spectacular way to double the lead. As it certainly looked like Haiti was going to roll from there, but credit to the Cuban team they came out in the second half. They put the pressure on Haiti and really forced some creative uh, creative chances throughout this game. Some early fouls from Haiti gave some free kick opportunities to Cuba. You see a yellow card there to Diana Pierre. And then a penalty, which was just at the top of the box, was how Cuba ended up getting their goal. And as a foul in the edge of the area, ended up a Yeri Palma goal, and then almost an equalizer, which ended up being offside, but it was very close from Montalvo. Unfortunately for Cuba, that was it, and they could not come back. 2-1 winners for Haiti, and that will do it here for us. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll take a look at some uh, stats very quickly before we call it an evening. With some final stats here coming up in just a moment. Oh. 
And with the final stats here, you can take a look at the disparaging, the discrepancy, excuse me, 16 to three in terms of shots. 12 fouls on Haiti and 80% of the possession. Cuba doing a lot of their attacking options on the counterattack, but unfortunately not enough to get a result tonight as Haiti wins two to one. Thanks for tuning in here for another edition of the Women's Under 20 Championship. My name is Austin David. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take a look at Group H to close things out.